Jared Vihi. And you're a retired staff sergeant? Yes. I went to Fort Sill, Oklahoma for boot camp, which is a home of field artillery. And after boot camp, I went to um, Germany for my first duty station. And I did my whole tour over in Germany. And then I went from Germany to Iraq for the first time. Then I came back to the States. And then when I got back to the States, I was in Nasty Growth National Guard. And then in the field artillery unit there. And then we got deployed with first ID out of, out of back east somewhere. And then we went back to Iraq. Let me back up, because they said, who wants to go to Iraq? And I said, I do, I do. I've already been once and made it out of life. I can go do it again, damn it. All I know is, from what they tell me, is it sounded like there was construction going on nearby. And they just thought that they heard the gunshot. And they thought some, there was somebody dropped timber at the construction site. And then, then they heard another another thump that they thought was more construction, but it was actually my M16 hitting the ground. Went in the side of my Kevlar helmet next to that side. They said, look at him, he's probably dead. Nobody can survive that kind of shot to the head. But I proved them all wrong, because I'm a survivor. The only memory I have after my injury is I was in Bethesda, they were Palo, actually Palo Alto, California, which is in Northern California, the VA hospital in Palo Alto. Um, helps me, helps me prove to the doctor said, who told me I could walk or talk, ever prove them wrong. Prove to myself that I'm getting better. Because each year I come here and I can do more and more thanks to these wonderful people here.